My name is Kevin Sean. I'm a graduate assistant here at West Virginia University. I'm in the School of Social Work, but my assistantship on campus is that I manage the rock climbing wall. I also help manage the outdoor climbing program. Some of my climbing background is that I actually started here at West Virginia University at our university's climbing wall. After I graduated, I've spent over more than a decade as a professional outdoor educator. That's taken me to Asheville, North Carolina, where I lived for several years, working for an Outward Bound school there. I've traveled down to South America and lived there for a bit, doing some alpine rock climbing and mountaineering. Um, and now I find myself back on campus studying and really giving back to the place that fostered my initial passion for climbing. So. We are at Roof Rocks today, out at Cooper's Rock State Forest, and we're out on a training trip. So we have a bunch of leaders who are out, you know, refreshing their skills and making sure everything's polished and ready to go for when we have incoming freshmen on their trip soon. So Cooper's Rock is a state forest that's 13 miles outside of Morgantown, so it's a quick drive on the highway. But once you get out here, you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. It's amazing. It's one of the sides of this giant gorge that connects to the Cheat River down below, which flows into Cheat Lake, which is a really great highlight outside of Morgantown as well. You'll see a lot of uh, wild rock faces out here, huge boulders, thick stands of rhododendron, and just beautiful trees everywhere. So it's a really great place to get outside and just connect with nature, hike around, or as you can see what we're doing today, climbing. I tell people I think a Cooper's Rock is, at, you know, as a student at West Virginia University, consider this kind of an extension of your own backyard, right? You want to go outside, you want to turn some rocks over, see the wildlife, like maybe there's a, you know, some cool little square inch of life going on under there, or maybe you're going to get out and seek some quiet. Maybe you're even just going to the overlook and catching in the panorama of Cheat Canyon with a good book. It's a great place to study, great place to not study. It's a great place to take a break and kind of clear your mind and enjoy the fresh air out here. So rock climbing generally occurs on day one of an adventure at West Virginia trip. Maybe day two, earlier on in the trip. We come out to Cooper's, we do what's called top rope climbing. That means that there is an anchor up top um, that holds the rope for climbing and that rope then goes out in two different directions. One to the person holding the rope called a belayer and the other to the other end with the climber who ties in. We like to do this early on in the trip because it's a really great way to connect with your classmates, connect with everybody in your group, you know, so it's good to set a tone for the rest of the trip. Um, it's adventurous, we're still getting to know each other, so it's a great way to build trust and, and use those communication skills that are really crucial in your first few years of college that will kind of set a foundation for success later on. Um, as far as this site specifically, we have up to eight or nine different routes that we could set up at any one time. We typically set up between five and six, just so we can have a full spectrum of what I like to call mild or spicy or somewhere in between. So we have routes for beginners. We have routes for people who have already been climbing for a little bit. We have a broad range of challenge and difficulty going on here. So at the end of the day, hopefully people have, you know, it's day one. so they've gotten to socialize with who's in their group and kind of broken that ice a little bit while having some fun adventure. And again, like I said, learning these things like communication and building on trust for the rest of the week and really for the rest of your college career. So it's a really critical activity that we do to help break the ice while having some fun. So although what you see going on right now is below the rock, there's a whole lot that's going on up above the rock. We are talking about communication, we're talking about trust, we're talking about getting to know one another. And the only way that we can really successfully do that is knowing that at the end of the day, this is all secure and well managed, or that the setups are really solid. So what's going on above the rock is we have other ropes that are different than the ones we climb on that are specifically designed to be anchors for the climbing ropes. So we'll find really sturdy trees, heavy boulders. We have special ways of connecting the rope to those to come out over the edge, build an anchor, and put these metal clips in the end we call carabiners that runs the actual climbing rope through. So the staff who do this, the, what we call the climbing site managers or the climbing guides for Adventure West Virginia, come out before the group shows up, a few hours before. They take their time and they set up each individual route with the utmost quality that they know how. So what that means is that before any of this happens, we've had a separate training for these climbing guides, these climbing site managers, Three day long training, so over you know about 72 hours worth of technical skill development so that they can build on the climbing background that they already have coming into the training. 
which teaches them how to not only set up the anchor safely and effectively, but then once we're down on the ground, how to facilitate a climbing day that feels really nice and smooth and adventurous and fosters that group dynamic that we're looking for on an adventure trip. So if this climbing catches on and people really find a strong interest or passion for what we're doing out here today, there's several ways to stay connected to that movement throughout one's career at West Virginia University or you know, while they're studying here. And so um, in the fall we have a trail cleanup day where we come out and we work with the local support group or the local nonprofit called the Cooper's Rock Foundation that's really the stewards of this forest. So they come out, they facilitate volunteers to help restore trail, block off sections of trail that need to be restored. We do graffiti removal. We just try and really give back to the place that provides us so much adventure. So those types of opportunities, you know, like I said, one big opportunity in the fall, we'll do another one in the spring. There's lots of ways to stay connected to the stewardship over this natural resource that gives us so many amazing opportunities. As far as the climbing, the rock's here all year round, so whenever there's a group of friends coming up this way, I always encourage people to come bouldering, which is climbing without ropes lower down to the ground with like safety pads underneath. Um, I also encourage people to come out and do roped climbing. In addition to Cooper's, we also have a state-of-the-art climbing wall at our student rec center that's there you know, whenever the rec center is open. We have a really active climbing club on campus, and with so many people you know, coming up here and going back and just enjoying a weekend jaunt or an after class kind of bouldering session, there's just so much you can get out of coming back up here, keeping climbing in your life throughout the rest of your time at West Virginia.